Hey guys, Annalise here. Um, I just wanted to give a little shout out, a little PSA. Um, this video was filmed long before the whole COVID thing. I really haven't had a chance to do anything since. Um, I am a nurse. Uh, I used to work in the ER in our hospital. I now work in the heart center. Blessed uh, to do that. Um, my heart and my thoughts uh, are constantly going out to my friends and coworkers that are on the front lines and still are there every day. Um, EMS workers, police, fire, um, truck drivers, teachers, I think all of the underappreciated are really, um, I think starting to be seen for the amazing people that they are and what they do for us every single day. Um, so I just wanna say thank you for that. Um, and for everybody who's not, Thank you for staying home. Um, I think it's really important right now that we all kind of stick in this together and remember that it's not always about us as individuals, but us as a group. And um, so thank you if you're staying home and staying safe and being with your family and uh, learning to appreciate uh, teachers. <laughs> thank you for that. Um, I, I just wanna say, Thank you so much to everybody who's in this. And if you're not, you know, um, maybe say thank you to somebody that is. Um, and, and as a way to say thank you, stay home. Uh, stay safe. Wash your hands if you're not already doing this. Hello. You, you should be. <laughs> uh, I think uh, hand washing has been overlooked. Uh, hand sanitizer is not the same thing. Um, please stop hoarding. Leave it for the people that need it. Uh, find a friend, find a neighbor, um, somebody that's elderly that shouldn't be going out. Make a delivery to them. Grab some of your extra toilet paper, paper towels, whatever. Um, and give to those who need it right now. Um, not everybody has the means uh, to stockpile stuff for themselves. Remember your neighbors, remember your friends, and people that aren't your friends that you maybe didn't know before this. Um, so I think it's important that we all just kind of stick together and remember it's not about us as individuals, but it's about us as a group. Um, and that staying home, it may be inconvenient, tiresome, boring, whatever you know our, our I seen a, a meme that was our family our parents our grandparents were asked to go to war you've been asked to stay at home I think you can handle this <laughs> sit on the couch binge some Netflix um, and don't whine don't spread propaganda please um, if you don't have the facts don't put it out there like they are um, because I think a lot of Stuff is driven by social media and false facts. Um, there is absolutely a need to be worried. This has the potential to do devastating damage to us, especially to our older population. And there are young people that are dying from this too, don't get me wrong. Um, but what happens when we lose everybody that has experience doing things the old-fashioned way and what happens we, we lose all of that knowledge um, so it's important to stay home so that maybe it's not about you but it's about not spreading and infecting people who really are vulnerable right now so thank you if you're staying home thank you if you're out there working on the front lines and keeping keeping the wheels turning Thank you so much, um, farmers, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, I'm thinking about you and praying for you, and thank you. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello, everybody. What's up? All right, so I'm going to try to do a beach scene today. Trying to still use up the last of these crusty colors. Um, I know a lot of people store their stuff in bottles, but I think if you leave them sit for too long, especially when you mix with Floetrol, I think is part of my problem. Um, 
you know, when Flowchop says you get the chunks in it, um, I think my paints were doing the same thing. Um, they weren't being mixed very often. Um, and they say, oh, it's not airtight. Well, this whole, let's look at this one. This is all air sitting in there. It's not a vacuum. Um, there's air sitting in there. So as it sits and air is just constantly touching that top bit, it gets dry and it crusts up a little bit. Um, all right, I'm going for the beach today. Uh, I want to try to do a, a paper towel swipe beach. Um, let me measure my paper towel here first. Mm, that's not quite enough. Let's go with three. <clears throat> now, my idea is to put my um, gold down here for my sand, my blues here, and I'm going to get this wet with uh, my flow trial water mix. And I'm going to try to go back a little bit into the sand and then pull this way. That's, the, that's what I'm going for. I'm going to move this down a little bit. I'm not sure if it's going to stay in frame completely for you or not, but that's what I'm doing. Um, so that when I pull that white and all that paint comes towards me, you know, I have something to catch it on and hopefully it will still fall where y'all can see it. <clears throat> all right. So... I've already mixed my colors that I'm going to be using. Of course, the old gold is what I'm going to be using for my sand. So I have nylons tied around my stuff first here so I can... Hopefully keep the clumps out. I did get a new set of spatulas and stuff. I don't know if you've seen where I did the uh, with the cake decorating kit or not. See what I had going on there. I had some browns and stuff underneath there to give it a little something. But I'm gonna pull this up a little bit higher. I've been, my beaches have been, I think a little too far down. And you know, when you see the, the shallow water, you can still see the sand underneath. So, let's see this, it has its concave. And it's vexing me. Okay, convex. Ha ha ha! Yeah, I'm a dork. I'm a dork, and it's okay. All right, so I've got mixed up some aqua green. One of my favorite colors. So bright and vibrant and pretty. It's just pretty. I like it so much. Perfect. Of course, this is all going to get swirled together um, with the swipe, but I'm going to get a bit down there. I love these big uh, craft sticks. I got these at Home Depot. A pack of, I believe it was 30 of them. Now I have to look. <laughs> 
yeah, it's 30 and it's a quart paint sticks. Um, 99 cents. Next to the um, painter's mixing booth. <clears throat> this is Thalo Blue. Love this color. This and the Brilliant Blue, they're very similar. I actually mixed them up. Um, a couple of times this has just the slightest bit of greenish tint to it, it but really side by side you can't even hardly tell but it's that beautiful bright royal blue shade that I just love I really love this color I think I could use the aqua green metallic cobalt and brilliant blue or phthalo blue in every everything I do. I, I think I just about could. And I almost I almost do because I love it so much. But I still have quite a bit of um, that turquoise and uh, cerulean blue to use. My daughter seen um the Devil Wears Prada for the first time and they were talking about cerulean blue. I was like, ah! Picking up my daughter's trying to decide high school classes for next year. And, uh, metallic cobalt. Um, she's a much better artist than I am. She has a lot more talent. Just lots of stuff down here, too. Just the littlest bit. actually draw something and make it look like something or paint something and make it look like something uh, not a skill I possess I'm sure with practice just like anything else but some of it is God-given talent and God did not give me that talent that's why I love this medium in particular personally The cerulean and the turquoise. Turquoise. Super pretty. Another perfect in between color green, blue. I'm checking as I'm pouring this out. I know I'm not talking a whole lot while I'm doing this, but um, I'm looking for lumps and chunks. Make sure nothing sneaks by me. Trying to, anyways. Got the showing edges are covered. I'm 
Okay, now. Oof, I get so nervous when I'm about to do something and I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Do you guys get like that? Do you get like nervous about doing something new, trying something new? Because I, again, I see it in my head, I see it going just a little bit this way and then pulling down here. This is titanium white. What with flow troll um, and water, mostly water. Unraveling it without separating it. Yeah, yeah. I just got paint on my boots. <laughs> of course, I got paint on my boots. All right, I need the blow dryer to try to blow around here a little bit.
trying to concentrate on something. I'm not able to think about what I'm doing and talk about it as well as. I haven't put my boob in it yet. That's a good day. See, I still ended up starting out with the beach up here. I ended up putting it down here. white with a paper towel kind of spreads the white foam around. I like it. Awesome sauce. Let me know what you guys think, okay? Alright. Thanks for watching, you guys. This is uh, Ocean Beach Paper Towel Swipe. Talk to you later. Bye!